Hey guys, so it's here once again for another review. Just before I start my next review that I just finished watching, um, straight nearly after this season, it's um, Dash Dolls. Now, I actually do not have a season for that at the moment because it actually hasn't been released in Australia at this current time. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping to find it um really soon or even for Christmas. Um just to let you know guys, sorry, this is gonna be a bit of a long um review because there's some stuff I really want to talk about, especially in the second to last disc or all of the discs. But there we do, let's really get started. So just finished season ten of part one of keeping up with the Kardashians. So Basically, it comes after um, when Caitlyn and Chris actually got a divorce. Um, Chris struggles with trying to find out how um, she wants to move on. And um, also thinking that um, Caitlyn was dating one of her best friends. And if, if she did, I would, f I would personally felt... Well, in um, Chris's shoes, thinking, why would you do that? We were together for 24 to almost 25 years with each other. And it's heartbreaking. Like, um, Chris is still trying to maybe these days um, still adapt to a lot of things. So most of the season is um, coming into the new. Um, it's reading up here um, with a lot of... Robert's problems as well, it came more huge, huge because they, Robert wasn't listening, he felt really confronted, um, Chloe and Kim started to really start with a tough love situations and like I said in my previous reviews, depression is the most hardest thing to be able to, to battle and, and, um, Robert was actually offered so much help and had everything that he wanted to, to get himself better but wasn't motivating himself to and that's another different about a lot of depression stages as well like with my own depression like it was really hard for me and um for two years I could not get out of bed properly I was a massive night owl I stayed up play games eight and then in the early hours of the morning, I just went straight back to sleep, and I don't know how Robert was back then, and this is only like a year, around a year ago when this was actually filmed, but I understand where he's coming from, he does not, he, he did not know how to motivate himself, and that's a major problem with depression, mental illness, and there's a massive stigma of it, and it blows. Um... Another thing I wanted to talk about, there's a lot with um, French Montana in this as well. Um, there's everyone coping a lot this entire season. Carly wasn't talking to Chris for two weeks, but went to San Diego and solved the problem. Um, um, Courtney had her third baby in this season, and Scott was really up and down half of the first um season um and yeah there's, there's a lot of it that i want you guys to go and actually watch um there um what else can i talk about um it's especially with um kylie's lips that everyone talked a lot about and <sighs> I don't think that's anyone's business. Yes, she may have a very successful lip kit line, but her self-image is, n I think that is none of our business. I don't think we should judge her, how she looks, how she does her things. And to be honest, I would just say incredibly get over it. But I respect how very successful um, Carly Jr. is and the entire clan. I'm very proud of you. Now, the next two things I really want to personally talk about is about Bruce Part 1 and 2. Now, the reason why I keep referring um, um, everything with um, Bruce, because 
Bruce actually transitioned into Caitlyn, and that's why all my reviews throughout the entire, entire, um, seasons here, I always refer her to Caitlyn, because that is now her official name, and Bruce transitioned into a Mormon. Now, um, transgender people have so much more harder life, um, the suicide rate is incredibly through the roof, and we definitely see in both parts how everyone was dealing with it, how hard it was for Kylie, um, especially with Chris, Chloe, Kendall, and how it was so hard for everyone, including um, Courtney, because um, she doesn't know what to tell her kids, um, for Chris, because she was with um, Caitlin for so many years and then felt like, was this a massive lie? And um, it happened so much with transgender couples thinking, oh, why were you with me? Um, and there's a lot. And you need to go see um, part Bruce 1 and 2 only because if, if you actually watch it, you will really understand how they all felt, what they went through and, and how they're still going through most of it. And it's very heartbreaking. Um, I think Kendall's... And most of the um, young ones are dealing it with the hard. But um, we don't know how people who transition into either a man into a woman or a woman into a man. Like, we don't know unless we talk about it. I have two friends who want to transition into a male. I respect them. And and they're, they're like 16, both 16 um, turning 17 really, really soon, and they want to transgender, and so many people in their families are just against it, and that's how some families are, and this is a massive issue for the entire world, which really, really blows, and, um, I really wish we can change this, but, um, it starts from one voice. Um, so let me talk about something else now. I will get into more detail about transgender um in my real life real important talks i have no idea i literally cannot even remember that um real talk about important topics there we go let me figure out how i'm going to do do that video and i will definitely will post that and talk more about this situation um so back to the um review um they when I went to Montana with the, all of the young Kardashian clan, um, Carly wanted to be alone. Chloe tries to attempt to get her into activities. And you definitely see a lot with um, Kim and trying to get pregnant. And you have to go see that for more I information. And then a blink of an eye, um, the family is getting ready to see... Caitlin transition and you can just see how distant a lot of of the clan is but um this DVD set is only 13 ep episodes um I want you to personally go watch this this is either on DVD iTunes or even on um E I want you guys to personally go see this for yourself because I'm only one person that's thinking, and um, there's a lot that you need to really watch and understand instead of thinking, oh, what are the tabloids saying, because tabloids are full of crap, that's what they are, they want to make up stuff just to sell it and get people to view it, and I'm just as bad because I do go and look at it, but I'm slowly getting over it, but anyway guys, that's going to be it for this review. Keeping up with the Kardashian season 10 part 1. After this I'm going to go watch part 2. But just to put this in my little my little pile over here. Let me just move it just a tad. There we go. Get all of it on iTunes, DVD. Go watch it on Foxtel. Or any social media that you guys can watch this from. But that's going to be it from me. All my links from my playlist down below including my social media links. And I catch you all for another review. Catch you all soon.